In the light of the legislature's decision to give $560 million to Texas grants, UT has announced that all renewing students, in addition to 1,100 new students, will receive Texas grant money. KVR News reporter Miranda Edson looks into what's going on behind the scenes of UT's decision. For many students who received Texas grants, the grant money allowed them to attend college. UT junior Nicole Rainey is one such student. It was great having that sort of support and not having to worry about money and I could focus on more important things like school and getting good grades and doing well. UT gave $6,780 this year to each student who received a Texas grant. In the upcoming biennium, students will only receive $5,000 per year. Many fear that this might prevent graduating high school seniors from choosing UT. Not having the Texas grant being a big deterrent for people being able to come to UT. I was actually speaking to a friend of mine who's going to be an incoming freshman, and he's looking to uh, UT, and he's really intelligent, really smart, one of the most like, driven and dedicated people I know. And he probably can't come here because he got offered no financial aid. UT's Director of Student Financial Services, Tom Malecki, is happy that the grants are taking a smaller blow than originally anticipated. We're glad that the legislature appropriated some more funds than was originally expected for the Texas grant program. And it's our intention to um, try to offer the students not only grant dollars, but the best possible grant dollars. Invest with Texas, along with other organizations, helped to bring legislative attention to the possible losses connected to higher education budget cuts. UT government major Yaman Desai helped with Invest in Texas this year. We have a lot of great, uh, a lot of great uh, fighters for us in the Texas legislature and advocates for students who really worked very closely with the Invest in Texas campaign uh, and helped us a great deal. And I think together we were able to get more funding and it was successful in that sense. In light of the legislature's decision to give money to the Texas grants for this biennium, financial aid packages for incoming freshmen that will receive the grants are being redone, along with returning student packages. The Office of Financial Services expects the release by mid-July. Miranda Edson, KVR News. While the university has overcome the financial battle for Texas grants, UT is still in a legal battle with two college applicants. The Caucasian woman sued the university for the use of race in admissions. The university considers race and ethnicity as, quote, a plus factor in admissions. A U.S. appeals court voted 9-7 to, to not hear the case last week.